What is up YouTube? The Wasted Truth coming at you again. And the gameplay I got for you right now is a quick free for all, four minute Moab on Carbon. And a big shout out to my boy Clown. He let me get this gameplay from him. Hope you guys enjoy it. Now let's get into this commentary. So lately I've been getting a lot of hate mail, a lot of trash talking messages and people just generally hating. Uh, for the most part though it's been a pretty good turn out as far as video views and likes on my videos but these hate messages they don't really bother me too much I kinda laugh at most of them but I've noticed since my views started going up and my videos getting a little more popular than they used to be the haters have started coming in already and I love the haters man they motivate me you know they, they let me do what I want to do because they give me that mind state that I just I can't I can't, I can't let the haters just depict what I'm gonna do in my videos so I kind of use their messages as fuel to the fire just to keep going. Because sometimes you don't want to do a YouTube video. You don't feel like doing it. You're just like, ah, man, today I'm just going to sit back and chill. But you know, you really got to get video out these subscribers. You got to keep things fresh. You got to keep new content coming in. So I use the haters just to motivate me and, and get me to, to the level I need to be at so I can, you know, bring you guys a good quality video. And hopefully you guys will enjoy the videos more. I put more into it. And I just want to thank the haters. Now that I got the haters out of the way, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about my, like I say, my videos getting more views and my channel's growing faster than I ever could think it was going to grow. It's just really started taking off and I am like a little schoolgirl, just giggly happy. I'm just happy as I can be about it and I'm hoping it grows even more. I got some big announcements coming up within the next week or two, hopefully sooner. I got some pretty big announcements coming up. Uh, a few people I've already told about a few things, but... I'm hoping that you guys can come along with me for this ride and hopefully I can start growing more and, and keep bringing you guys content. So now let's jump into a whole other topic. Let's talk about Modern Warfare 3. It's only fair this Moab gameplay that I talk about Modern Warfare 3 a little bit. So Modern Warfare 3 has about what, five months left before Black Ops 2 comes out? At this point in the game, to me, I still find so many problems with this game. It's still like an unfinished game, like a game that should never even be released. And a lot of guys don't see my views and my opinions on this, but Modern Warfare 3 has been a real letdown. Now, within saying that, there's also a lot of good things about Modern Warfare 3 that I'm hoping Black Ops picks up and, and does improve on. But what's your guys' thoughts on this? Right now, it is what, June? So in five months, give or take a little bit, Black Ops 2 will be out. Will you still come back and play Modern Warfare 3? Or do you think you'll just say, nah, I'm playing only Black Ops? Let me know what you guys think about that. I really want to know your opinions on that. Now, a few things I like about Modern Warfare 3. I think the Moab, I think it's great. You know, you can get kind of like a nuke, but it doesn't end the game necessarily. And you can keep on playing. It gives guys something to strive for. But in the same token, it still gives those couple guys that want to lay in the corner the whole game trying to get a Moab you lose because they don't want to jump in the game and play but that's a whole other story the Moab is great the way it is I wish Black Ops would have a Moab or some sort of nuke Moab or Moab whatever you guys want to call it I'd love to see that in Black Ops I don't think we're going to see it I mean I'm sure we're not going to see it just reading the tweets and I also like the death chat you know when the guy dies you can hear him raging or another end, if you're being killed, you can just tell the guy, screw you. You know, you can talk a little shit to him. I think that's pretty cool. I really enjoy that. It makes you want to stay out of a party chat more so than in Black Ops. I know in Black Ops, personally, I stayed in a party chat with the guys I was playing with 9 out of 10 games. Very rarely do we not stay in a party chat. And also, I really love the gun games. I know Black Ops had one in the chamber and sticks and stones. I hope Black Ops brings Sticks and Stones back. I love Sticks and Stones. It's it's the funnest to me to play just to kind of not be serious. Don't really care if you win or lose. Just Even in private matches, that game is fun. Just get with a couple buddies and just tomahawk them, piss them off. It, it's so fun. But I really like Gun Game Modern Warfare 3 just because they give you a variety of, of gun games. And I hope Black Ops continues on with that and even adds more to it. And Infected was pretty fun too. 
In fact, it was fun. Drop Zone has its moments, but for the most part, I can do without Drop Zone. But it's good to have a lot more game types in the game. So I hope Black Ops, you know, picks up where Model for 3 left off and continues on with that. But I'm going to stop right here, guys. My commentary is already going past the video. And as you've seen, I got a couple videos up here you can choose from. If you haven't already checked them out, please stop by and check them out. And as always, like and subscribe. And Catch you guys next time.